We are here today with the family of John Elephants. Barbara is here, Stormy is here, the family is here. Also joining us today is our local counsel, Tim Volpert, as well as Ginger Skinner, another lawyer in Portland that's gonna be working with us. On April 7th, 2018, at approximately 8 p.m., John Elfritz was inside City Team Ministries shelter experiencing a mental health crisis when eight officers stormed into the homeless shelter with their assault rifles and weapons drawn and a police trained AK, A9, K9 dog. Within seconds, these officers with a military style approach and weapons out and without cause or provocation shot and killed John Elephants. Within those seconds, Barbara lost the love of her life and her best friend. Within those seconds, 12-year-old Stormy lost her father. Within those seconds, David and Jeff lost their brother. Last night, the Elephants family filed a federal civil rights section 1983 lawsuit against the city of Portland and the officers involved in this tragic, unjustified and unconstitutional shooting. Yeah. Thank you. As Way the to go. United States Department of Justice documented in 2012, the PPB, the Portland Police Bureau, has engaged and continues to engage in a pattern and practice of unjustified police shootings involving those suffering mental health crisis. From 2006 to present, the Portland Police Bureau has continued to violate the civil rights of people like John Elephants who are experiencing a mental health crisis. That's right. Thank you. So what I want to say is I want to, I want to say some names. I'm from Chicago. I don't know these names. I've been fortunate to be representing the Elephants family today. But let me just say some names. James Chase, Aaron Campbell, Jack Dale Collins. Keaton Otis, Daryl Ferguson, Thomas Higginbotham, William Monroe. Sorry, would you slow down just a second for our interview? Sure. James Chase, Aaron Campbell, Jack Dale Collins, Keaton Otis, Daryl Ferguson, Thomas Higginbotham, William Monroe, Bradley Morgan, Billy Wayne Sims, Merle Hatch, Santiago Cisneros, Kelly Shabada, Nick Davis, Christopher Healy, Michael Harrison, Alan Ballou, David Jameis Ellis, Michael Johnson, Stephen Liffel, Kwanis Hayes, Terrell Johnson, Chase Peoples, Sarah Michelle Brown, and many others. Kendra James. Kendra James. Deontay Keller. Deontay Keller. Christopher Kalanji. Yeah. Christopher Kalanji. It's Cody amazing. Phelps. It's Those amazing to me that a city of Portland that's supposed to be one of the most livable cities in America that attracts tourism and businesses and people are killing folks on these streets. The question is, when is enough and enough? And when will leadership, when will Ted Wheeler, when will Chief Outlaw, when will the City Corporation Council address the issues identified by the United States Department of Justice? While there is a settlement agreement in place, and while there's been audits, and while even today City Council is meeting and having discussions, the reality is individuals continue to die in these streets. 12-year-old Stormy will never see her father again and it's because of the unjustified and unconstitutional actions of the Portland Police Bureau. Today we're here because the Elephants family stands here in pursuit of justice. And what does justice constitute? What, it, what, it, what that means is an independent, transparent investigation and holding the city of Portland accountable for the tragic death of John Elephants and other victims of the Portland Police Bureau. And what I've seen as a systemic failure to address the findings of the United States Department of Justice. The family demands justice. And now uh, I'm grateful to bring Barbara to talk about, about John. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. First of all, 
I know there are some many friends here that would like to come up and stand behind us, and we invite you to do that now. Stand with us, please. And, and we will. Uh... 